Hello, this is Chris, and I'm going to show you how I install a Build 91. And uh, I'm here at the RP, rptools.net website, and uh, there's two ways to install it. Uh, there's the launch method, which kind of remotely downloads the um, files and launches them remotely, or can launch them remotely. Uh, I don't recommend using that method. I'm going to show you how with the uh, manual download method. Anyway, um, first you download the file, and then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to extract it um, to someplace that you can find easily. Usually my documents is a good place. I just leave it in my uh, downloads folder. And this will just be a second. I'm currently only, I have Java 7. Um, I uninstalled Java 8 for the demonstration. And so let's see, we're gonna go to the file and we're just going to extract it. Okay, well, the launcher works great, just out of the uh, box, basically. I can go here and then uh, run it, put my uh, settings in here and then launch it. That's pretty much it to installing the newer version of uh, MapTool, which is a great improvement over the last version. But there's a few uh, added things that we can do. Um, for one, I like having a little icon down here, and uh, what we have provided doesn't really give us that opportunity to uh, show one of those. At least not easily. Um, I included a zip file. If you go to the uh, forums under the community tab, and we're going to go to map tool and under how to, I have install. No, where is it? How to install B91 and set up shortcut. And I'm going to download this file. And we're going to cut it and put it into the map tool folder that we just loaded the files into. And there's a couple ways to extract it. You can either cut and paste them out of there, or, or you can use the, one of the extract features. I'm going to use this one from my setup. Um, what I included was a couple of direct download links for Java 7 and Java 8. In case you're still using Java 6, you can install one of those directly right here. Uh, this is for the 64-bit system. If you don't have a 64-bit system, which not many people do or don't, um, you can just go to java.com and download the default one. This is specifically for the 64-bit system users because of the default download when you have a 64-bit system, downloads the 32-bit system. And the reason why that's a problem is because it puts it in a different folder, making the whole shortcut process kind of a pain in the butt. So that's why I included the direct download links. And I also included a couple of direct of the uh, shortcuts as well. And in order to make it more universal, I um, included maptoollauncher.b91.jar. This is the same exact file as this file, just renamed. <clears throat> okay, so anything else? Uh, okay, no. So what we're trying to do here is set up the shortcut. And with Java 7, what we want to do is we can run this right here, and it'll run map tool. See, there goes the launcher. You can change your settings. I like using 2048 now. Uh, the more powerful systems, you're allowed to do that. And um, after we're satisfied that the launcher works fine, we're just not going to prompt it anymore. We'll just keep those same settings. So that's with me running Java 7. That's already installed. 
Now, uh, for many people, Java 7 is now uh, deprecated, and they're not going to be supporting it, you know, beginning of uh, uh, April of uh, next year. So uh, most people are installing Java 8, and Java 8 has a couple of uh, things about it that I think when you install it from the main website, it actually asks you to uninstall Java 7. Um, if you don't want to do that, um, it's a couple things you can do. Uh, you can uninstall Java 7, install Java 8, and then reinstall Java 7. That way you'll use both. Um, when you do it the other way, 7 to 8, when you run a Java, something that points at Java 7, it'll give you an error. And so um, what we're going to do here is uh, that's okay with us. We, we're not going to use Java 7 much anyway, except for the demonstration purposes. Um, we want to install Java 8 because you're pretty much going to need to sometime in the future. So it's just downloading into your uh, downloads folder. And once it finishes, we can just click the link there and I'll install it. I'm going to have a little dead air, here, dead air here while it's uh, installing. There we go. Uh, while it's installing, I'll show you with uh, using the Java 7 link. Um, in order to pin it to the taskbar, you got to tell it where the shortcut is. And so uh, by default, properties, I put the start in as blank. And if you pin that to the taskbar, it'll not know where the, the file is. So um, what you want to do is copy the path, the top of the Explorer, into properties of the start in. Uh, let's see, it says I installed. Okay, so now that Java 8's installed, um, I think if I run the Java 7 link, which worked fine before that, it's going to say, nope, you got to use Java 8. Yep, there it goes. So now it's going to say, no, we have to use Java 8 from now on. So I get rid of all those. Uh, so clicking the uh, Java 8 link, You can see it now runs. And then for the uh, pinning it to the taskbar, you have to go through the same process. Go to the properties of it, go to the start in, and uh, paste that path to that folder. And once that's done, you can right click on it and say pin to taskbar. And it just puts a little link down here in the taskbar. And if you highlight it, it'll tell you which version it is. Because I show a video of how to install the uh, B89. Some people use want to use both. And so the important thing is using the correct Java version. The Java version should be the same for both because uh, Java 8 blocks Java 7, basically. But you don't have to install Java 8 for it to work. You just eventually probably will do it anyway, whether it's uh, through some automatic download or, or some other application requiring it. And I think that's all I need to show you on this. I um, don't think there's anything else. It's uh, less complicated than the uh, last video for upgrading the B89 launcher, because it's already included. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and go to the site. And you can post to this uh, thread. I'll also include in the um, readme file uh, shortcut to the video and this uh, website. So if you have any questions, uh, you can post either there or on the video. And uh, thank you for watching.